some reason it took a lot of effort getting out of bed this morning. I was so tired. This meal is the same meal that I've been eating for forever. Egg white with one egg, oatmeal, blueberries, and peanut butter. This meal is 533 calories, 48 grams of carbs, 23 grams of fat, and 31 grams of protein. I think the morning is so important for setting the intention for the rest of the day. With food, with your mindset, if you wake up and just start scrolling on your phone, I know for me that makes me feel like shit and for the rest of the day I don't feel the best. It just like starts my day off with a lot of anxiety, which is not what I need. I always need a calm, peaceful morning. Yesterday was Duke's first day at puppy school and they said he was so good and so handsome. You get that a lot, don't you? Basically in the morning, I drop him off at 7 a.m. They gave me a little, hey, Chill. They give me a little mini lesson of what I need to know and what they learn and basically the commands and stuff that they taught him And then I pick him up at 5 p.m. And so he's there all day long, which is so nice because I get a little break from you He's crazy sometimes and I can't get anything done sometimes when he's acting like this He's still a puppy. So he just has a lot of energy and needs attention 24 7. Can you stop? <gasps> I made some tea. This one is actually a blend between peppermint, fennel, and ginger. I love peppermint tea, and this one is actually pretty good too. But specifically, I guess this one is for like digestive health, and I've been having a little bit of digestive issues lately, so this needs to help me out. And then I have my little square of dark chocolate. I changed up my workout schedule, so now I've been working all day and then going for my walk when it's still bright outside and going to the gym later at night when it gets dark because that's like the only thing that I don't need natural sunlight for. So I'm like, I'll just save my workout for when it gets dark outside, which kind of sucks because it's busiest around 5, 6, and 7 p.m., but it makes more sense for me. Can you get out of the frame? You, where's your toy? What do you have to say for yourself? It's not pepperminty enough, so I'm adding another bag. Second liter of the day, 40 ounces. Dang, this is a lot of volume for 271 calories. Literally a full bowl. So it's 271 calories, 38 grams of carbs, 1.5 grams of fat, and 31 grams of protein. Is that right? Wow, okay, this is way lower calorie than I expected. The ground turkey is impressing me. What? You bet it makes you sleepy. Is that fake? Well, I know it's partly true, but like, does it actually make you feel like really drowsy and tired? Probably not. This is fire. The sweet potatoes are really good. And with the barbecue sauce, I didn't expect that. Pretty freaking good. It's four o'clock. I have not gone to the gym yet, but I figured I need some more food in me, especially because the drive to the gym is like 30, 35 minutes because of traffic. So I need to eat. Cause I have cardio to do too. Definitely need to get that light fixed. I just made the ground turkey and sweet potatoes because I don't really want to wait for the broccoli right now. So I'm going to go immediately after I finish this. You know your water filter's good when it drains this slow. I feel like it's just getting out everything. So freaking pure. I just 
got back from the gym and I showered and I'm gonna make my final meal. I, I'm gonna have a ninja creamy, but I'm gonna show you how I make it. I already have this frozen and ready to go, but I just wanna show you the recipe that I use. The protein powder that I'm using is the Rise Cookie Blast. This flavor is so good. It literally tastes like grinded up Oreos. So one scoop. And then I add PB2. It just gives it some more flavor, but also it helps it like thicken up and not get super icy for some reason. You can also use sugar-free Jello, which tends to work better and it's like five calories, but I don't have any, so I'm just using PB Fit. See, if you have like sugar-free cheesecake Jello mix and then add that to this, that would be so fire. My workout was so mid because nationals is this weekend, so everyone is here for a bodybuilding show and there were so many people at the gym especially because i went at 6 p.m it's usually super busy already but there was so many bodybuilders there i felt very out of place everyone was just in the middle of the gym and i was just carrying my little stanley around trying to get a good back pumping and then i just add water you can also do almond milk that would probably be better and mix. I don't fill it up all the way to the line because when I take it out of the freezer the next day, I like to add more water on top. It just helps it like blend. This whole thing is about 200 calories and over 25 grams of protein. I want to say like maybe even 30. This one will be for tomorrow. Just leave it in your freezer for at least 12 hours. So good. I feel like it has to go in one more time. I'll do a respin. I don't know why this took so long. I need to make some room. <laughs> I'm also adding some peanut butter on top because I am lacking on my fat goal today. I do track macros if y'all don't know. And I get a lot of peanut butter. I'm so excited for this. I feel like either you're a chocolate peanut butter person or you're like a, a sweet candy person. Like there's no liking both. Like you're either like a Swedish fish, Skittles, Sour Patch Kids type person or you're a chocolate and peanut butter person. 100%. And I am chocolate and peanut butter, clearly. Like talk about a nightcap. Shit, busting. So good. This Ninja Creamy is 389 calories, 19 grams of carbs, 20 grams of fat, and 40 grams of protein. <laughs> Damn. The peanut butter, the PB Fit, and the protein powder, like, that's a lot of protein. I just opened my Amazon package. I feel like I get an Amazon package, like, twice a week. I'm acting like it just shows up at my door. I'm definitely on Amazon a lot. <laughs> I got two books because I want to get back into reading, and I haven't really found a good book that I'm, like, obsessed with. I read The Silent Patient, which was the best book I've ever read in my life, and then I read Verity, and ugly love those were all really really good and i actually went on amazon to order this book because i listened to the andrew huberman and robert green podcast i hear so many people rave about this book it's called mastery so i had to get it and then also like the recommended books popped up and this one was one that was super highly rated so i got this the perfect marriage i've never read this but i see this at target all the time and i feel like it's promising and i like suspense books like the silent patient like Oh, that book was so good. I also had to re-up on this OptiPure New Ethics supplement. Um, I need to take this right now because I didn't have it this morning. I literally have to take one pill at a time because I can't swallow them all at once. And they have to be capsules. I can't swallow any pills that are like those powdered ones. Hell no. I feel like I had PTSD from being sick as a kid and having like these huge horse pills that were just like powder. I feel like for strep or something. Oh my God, those shits were horrible. But these are easy to swallow.